New at 5, an important climate change milestone. 37 years ago today, scientists found evidence that were damaging the ozone layer. Now, almost four decades later, something's about to open locally that will help us learn from our mistakes. Philip Townsend has more on the Ryan Resilience Lab groundbreaking. It wasn't until this day, May 16th in 1985, that researchers found actual evidence that were damaging our protective ozone in the stratosphere. Low levels were detected above Antarctica in what we now call the ozone hole. Now, the ozone hole isn't what's causing global warming and rising sea levels, but what is the same thing harming the good ozone above? Us. You know, what do we do about it? We need to understand it better. We need to demonstrate the right way to, to be here. And Marjorie Jackson and her team at the Elizabeth River Project are doing just that with the Ryan Resilience Lab, an $8 million living laboratory and learning park that'll let us see up close how to build, preserve, and live in our region during climate change and rising sea levels. They're breaking ground on the lab near Colley Avenue in Norfolk Wednesday. It's intentionally built in a flood zone using accessible and cost-effective materials not out of reach for the average homeowner. But most importantly, it'll serve as a symbol, showing how seriously the region takes the impending threat of climate change. We'll be right there where people can every day be reminded of, oh, here's how I could learn a better practice. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.